Well, it's not gonna. It's not gonna work. I'm trying to connect my old laptop to the network. The problem is the laptop doesn't have a wireless network card. And you are probably thinking why I don't use an Ethernet cable. That's the problem. I'm a beep network engineer and yet I cannot find any extra Ethernet cable in my house. So I guess that's right when they say the architect's house is always crooked. So what should I do? Don't worry, you are a network engineer. You can make your own cable. Uh, can you? Yeah, I can make my own cable. I have all the ingredients from some previous projects. I have around 1000 feet of bulk outdoor CAT6 Ethernet cable. If I would have had an indoor cable, I would have used that. But for what I want to do, it doesn't really matter. This one is just a little bit thicker and waterproof, which I don't mind. I will also need RJ45 CAT6 Ethernet connectors and also end caps which fortunately I happen to have many of them. And finally I will need a RJ45 crimper tool and also a wire stripper. So first of all with the cutting section of the crimper tool I'll cut the length that I need for my project. Which I guess this much should be enough. So now I can put the end cap on and with the help of the wire stripper, strip away about one inch of the outer plastic layer of the wire. As you can see, there are four pairs of twisted wires. They're separated by a plastic pair separator. I don't need that piece, so I'm going to cut it off. Now I can untwist the pairs and sort them in this order. And with my fingers, I'll straighten the wires as much as I can. Now if I cut the tip of the wires, they're gonna be nice and neat and ready to go inside the Ethernet connector. I'm gonna make sure they've gone all the way inside and I can see the tip of the wires here. Now with the crimper tool, I'm gonna crimp it once or twice to make sure it's perfectly locked. Finally, I'll push this boot or end cap or whatever else the name is all the way to the end. And I'll repeat everything for the other end of the cable. Okay, I made the cable and now it's the moment of truth. I used to have a cable testing device, but for some reason I can't find it. I don't know where I put it. And it shouldn't matter, it's only one cable and I can simply connect it to see if it works or not, right? Hmm? I tested the cable and it works fine. Um, thank you for watching. I guess I'll see you next time. And I absolutely understand if you don't want to subscribe.